windows in your home can be used as a statement piece and not just because they let the light in, but because of what you put on them. Sarah Torelli from Artful Conceptions is here to help us look at our windows as more than just windows. Sarah, I am so glad you are back. We started talking about this yesterday and I was just learning how drapes are actually supposed to puddle if you have a traditional look. And puddle, I mean, hang on the floor, right? Correct. We don't want actual puddles. But <laughs> <laughs> I may have puddles now because I have yeah. a baby, but, but uh, yes. And if you puddles. have a baby, you probably are not going to have big puddles on your drapery. This is a very formal look. It's for a more traditional styled home. But kind of as we were saying yesterday, either go big, do a big puddle, or don't hang them so they either just touch or just about three eighths to a quarter inch off the ground. But what we don't want is just reaching the windowsill. Yes, we do not want that. If you're gonna do something that is going to be a treatment that's just gonna come to the edge of the windowsill, we have so many other options that we can do. We can do swags with jabots, we can do different kinds of cornices and all different kinds of treatments let's stay away from the drapery just ending at the windows. So Sarah, I think I need a vocabulary list for all the things you just said, because I don't know what any of that just meant. So what exactly were some of those examples of things that you can do? So all the different kinds of things that we can do is we can do everything from toppers that go on the outside and around the windows just to the top. Maybe they come down a little bit partway into the window. You know, some draperies that you're seeing right there that we've done. Everything from sheer draperies to fully lined blackout draperies, all of that. Basically what it means is that we come out and we find out what's gonna be right for your home on them. What were some of those other examples that you were talking about? So jabots, jabots are pieces that come down off of swag treatment. So if you think about like taking a piece of fabric and swagging it, yep. except we sew it and make it so it always looks like this perfect swoosh across, yes. whether we do it on a board or we do it over um, drapery rods or something like that. Jabots are the pieces of fabric that come down the side. Okay. Kind of like that little extra wow to this. Just space. a little extra zhuzh on your window. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. And I know that's not the other one. You had said another thing too that I didn't even know what meant. So cornices or cornices. valances. Okay. Yes. So cornices are going to be toppers that go across the window and they're made out of hard material. So usually we do them on a board and then we can create anything that we want out of all the different fabrics that we use and we buy directly from the best manufacturers across it. And a valance is going to be soft. So it's going to be a little bit more flowy, but also a topper. Well, and I will say so much of what I've been able to learn is the fact that you work with the clients because everybody is different out there. And you can sit down with some of these examples we see here and, and kind of find what's best for your clients. Exactly. So whether it is a woven wood, something that's a really natural feeling, maybe it's a linen, maybe it's a drapery, maybe it's just an inside the window shade. We do a lot of Roman shades. We do roller shades, solar shades. Anything that can go on, we're going to find what's right for that client and do for them what needs to be done. And we'll come out, we do all the measuring, we do the installing, we do the designing, and we make it all here in Tampa. So really, it's one-stop shop to uh, zhuzh up those windows. Absolutely. They are the icing on the cake to the room, the jewels and the finishing pieces. I had, I've had i never looked at windows like that. The icing on the cake, that's what we need to focus on. Good stuff. And as always, Sarah, if people want to get in touch with you, what is the best way? Best thing to do is give us a call, come in, set an appointment with us, or we'll come out to the house and meet you to find out what's going to be best for you. Sarah, I love when you are here. Always fascinating topics. Thank you so much for your time. And there you go. There's her information on your screen.